Hello, today's devotional can be found in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 21. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Okay, so. Snowy times refine us. Snowy times strengthen us. Snowy times will come whether or not we are prepared for them. So the best thing we can do in terms of hard times is to be prepared for them, to know that they will come, and be prepared for them before they happen. Because things will happen whether or not we want them to. Things will happen. And it's our attitude that can make a difference as to how things go for us when things happen. Because we cannot stop trials from happening. Even if we are righteous and strive our best to be without sin, things will still happen. Trials will still happen. People may get hurt, killed, sick. Houses may have problems, families may have issues, but you know what? We have to be strong. We cannot be afraid. For the Lord won't give us a trial without giving us a way to endure it. Now, of course, we have our agency as to whether or not we listen to the Lord and rely on his way to endure the trial, or if we just try to go it on our own and get frustrated when we don't get very far on our own. But trials will come. We should not fear them. For the Lord gives us trials to refine us and to help us to be able to look beyond our own problems or the scarlet points in ourselves. We should not focus on our sins and our imperfections. We should not focus on that, which can hold us back from becoming better. Because our sins can sometimes make us think that we cannot change. And you know what? We can change. We can change for the better. We can change because of the atonement. We can change and become from scarlet to sin to as white as snow because of the atonement and Jesus Christ's ability to take our sins and having already paid the price for him, just put them away. Why do we hang on to our sins? Because we'll have trials that's troublesome enough to deal with, and we need to focus on the refinement opportunities that come from the trials. So why do we want to hang on to our sins? They're not going to do us any good. They're just going to slow our progress. And Christ already paid the price, so we don't even own the sins. We are hanging on to things that are not ours when we own the sins. So we need to let go and not be afraid to let Christ help us with his atonement that we may be refined and freed of our sins and be able to focus on living the best life that we can with a good attitude in both this life and in the next. Because the atonement applies to both the living and the dead. Satan would have us think that we need to be afraid of the atonement and that trials are punishments. Well, trials of choice may be a humbling reminder, but they're not so much a punishment unless we really want. <laughs> Unless we really want it to be. But 
trials refine us. Satan is in a permanent trial because he chose to be there. We can choose to endure well that all may be well with us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <sighs>